Hello and welcome to the Riverbed support video on configuring Microsoft C++ compiler for Riverbed Modeler. My name is Ishan Kapoor and I'm an escalation engineer with Riverbed. Before we begin, I would like to share some information regarding what compilers, modeler supports, and where you can get them. You can go to support.riverbed.com and navigate to the Riverbed Modeler homepage Select the version of Modeler that you would like to use. And then you can see a system requirements document show up under the description. The system requirements document will list out the compilers and the version numbers supported by that release of Modeler. Be sure to check this document for every release of Modeler because things may change release by release. A lot of the Visual Studio compilers by Microsoft are available for free from visualstudio.com. All you have to do is get an account and search for the Visual Studio version, compiler version that you'd like. And as you can see, they are available without any key or um, money required as of this recording. Now that we know what compiler we need and where we can get them, let's see what we have to do to actually configure it in our Windows machine. So we'll start by clicking on the Start menu. Go under All Programs. For my example today, I'm going to be using Visual Studio, Microsoft Visual Studio 10. So go under the Visual Studio shortcut and then explore the Visual Studio Tools submenu I'm going to be configuring the 64-bit Visual Studio compiler. So I'll choose this command prompt, which is the Visual Studio 64-bit command prompt. At this stage, it's really important that you do not see any errors or any strange messages in this window, because that would mean either the Visual Studio compiler has been set up incorrectly, or there are some missing components. So our step, so our next step is to actually extract the uh, some of the key environment variables out of this command window and then inco incorporate it into our Windows environment. I'm going to start by using the getting the first environment variable out, which is called include. So I just displayed that here on the screen. I'm also going to redirect this output into a file using this command. So now I'm going to move on to the next environment variable, which is lib. I'm going to append the output. like so. And then finally, the path variable. There, all done. So now I will go ahead and locate the file, which is right here, this env.txt, and examine it. So it looks like we got an extra variable, libpath, which is OK. We will not use it. Now that we have the environment variables we need, let's go and incorporate them into our Windows environment. I'm going to start by going under Start menu, right-clicking on, com on Computer, and then going to Properties. Under Advanced System Settings, I'm looking for the Advanced tab, and then the Environment Variables button. So let's click on this. Under the user section, which is on top of the system section, we are going to be adding three new variables. Let's start. So the first one is include, and I'm just going to copy it from this file. I'm going to be needing the full string 
if you notice carefully, I'm copying only the include variable. Next up, we will do lib. So let's copy that. I'm going to be copying the whole lib variable and only the lib variable. And the third is path. So we have to be careful in the path variable to only include the string up to and not including the C windows system 32. This is the portion that has been added by the Visual Studio provided script that set up this environment. So your machine, your compiler may be slightly different. These strings may not match. However, you should, if you're following this procedure, you should include, you should copy the path string only up to and not including the C Windows System 32. So let's copy this, paste it here, and we are done. So that was it. Now at this point, we will be ready to test our modeler simulation. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do the modeler simulation. I have modeler 17.5 here, um, which is uh, compatible with the version of compiler I'm using. So be sure you make uh, sure of the compatibility check between your Visual Studio compiler and the release of modeler. So let's start with 64 bit because that's the bitness of the compiler environment I set up. All right, <clears throat> so let's start by opening up an example project. Let's switch to a scenario. I'm going to choose PCF versus TCF. Click on the configure and des icon and make sure that we are force recompiling the standard models. Let's just hit run. So it's compiling at the moment. Let's have a quick look at the simulation console. And there we go. It's already running the simulation after piecing together the simulation from code from scratch using the compiler environment that we just set up. And it's already finished. So there you go. In this short video, we've managed to set up the Visual Studio compiler environment into uh, our Windows machine and used it to run an example simulation from Riverbed Modeler. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully see you again in the next Riverbed support video.